Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about central tendency of a data set using Excel. So I'll share my computer screen with you. The profit, it should be profit in billions of dollars for some corporations are given here, okay? For companies are given here. And we have to find a few things. Find the mean, median. Does the data set show any skew? Find first quartile, third quartile. Find the lower and upper outlier boundaries. Is there any outlier in the data? So the first thing we will do is to find the mean. So mean is very easy. We will go over here. We want to find the mean in this cell. So I put an equal to sign there and then equal to average basically. So look at this average and I click on that, double click. Then I know my data set is from A2 through A16. And I close the parenthesis and hit enter. So, let's see. And the mean is 10.08, okay? And then it asks for median, and that is also very easy, equal to median, M-E-D-I-A-N, and then the same thing, A2 through A16. Notice I put colon after A2, then I click uh, or type A16. I could have highlighted also A2 through A16, that would have worked also. <clears throat> Does the data set show any skew here? The mean is, uh, so we can write mean is uh, slightly higher than the median, is slightly higher than the median. Median, therefore, slight skew to the right, skew to the right. Okay, next question they asked, find Q1. This is also very easy. We'll write equal to Q quarter, quartile, okay? And notice under quartile, it says array and then quarter. Okay, so we want to find the first quartile. My array is from A2 through, so I put a colon, A16, then comma, then I put one for the first quartile and close the parenthesis and hit enter, 2.25. Then it says find the third quartile. So again, quartile, then A2 colon A16 comma, and we want to find the third quartile, so number three. So this is your uh, Q3, 14.93. So IQR, IQR, or interquartile range, interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1, okay, Q3 minus Q1, okay, so my IQR is equal to IQR or interquartile range is equal to Q3, which is sitting in cell E22, 
E22 minus E21. And interquartile range is 12.7. So next I will calculate uh, 1.5 times IQR, QR. I can do that calculation over here. I'll do the calculation 1.5 times IQR, IQR. And that is equal to 1.5 multiplied by multiply the star sign and my IQR is in sitting in cell H22. Okay, why do I need that? Because my lower quartile boundary, lower or lower outlier boundary, I should say lower outlier boundary, outlier boundary. Boundary, boundary is equal to Q1 minus 1.5 multiplied by IQR. Okay. And 1.5 times IQR. So I have to erase this. This is 1.5 times IQR, IQR, okay, and that is equal to my Q1 is sitting in cell E21, equal to E21 minus 1.5 IQR is sitting in K22, minus K22, okay. And that is minus 16.8. Okay, so uh, in that case, minus 16. And let's do the other calculation. Okay, so the lower outlier boundary is this. And the upper outlier boundary, upper outlier boundary is equal to Q3 plus Sorry, plus 1.5 times IQR. So that will be equal to my Q3 is sitting in cell E22 equal to E22 plus, okay, plus my 1.5 IQR is sitting in cell K22. And that is 34. Okay. So the question is, is there any number? Is there any number? Number smaller than minus 16 point uh, minus 16 point 8 minus 16 point minus 16 point 8 answer is the question mark and yes minus 16.9 minus 16 yes minus sorry minus 16.9 is an outlier outlier on the left and is there any number greater than 34 
is there any number greater than 34 than 34 in the data set and let's take a look at the data set any number greater than 34 yes 41.1 yes so yes 41.1 41.1 is an outlier on the on the right on the right so let's uh, correct this yes 41.1 is an outlier on the right right so there are two outliers in the data set, uh, two outliers, so two outliers, two outliers, outliers, two outliers, minus 16.5 nine and 41.1 so two outliers minus 16 point uh, so we might say equal to and then greater than minus 16.9 and 41.1 so to summarize the mean is 10.08 median is 19 9.2 so mean is greater, slightly greater than the median. So this data set is slightly skewed to the right. First quartile is 2.25. Third quartile is 14.95. Interquartile range is 12.7. And 1.5 times IQR is 19.05. So 1.5. 1.5. Times IQR equal to 19.05 so lower outlier boundary is q1 minus 1.5 iqr and the upper outlier boundary is q3 plus 1.5 iqr okay so the lower outlier boundary is minus 16.8 and the upper outlier boundary is 34 is there any number less than minus 16.8 in the data set? Yes, minus 16.9 is an outlier on the left. And is there any number greater than 34? Yes, 41.1 is an outlier on the right. So there are two outliers, minus 16.9 and 41.1. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share this video with your friends, you and your friends. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day and I will see you next time. Take care.